Hey everyone, my name is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and today we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Office 2016 for Mac. Now before we get into things, I'd just like to mention that for the purpose of this review, we're going to be looking at Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, not other apps like Outlook and Publisher. Having said that, many of the principles such as having an updated design and new features are likely true across all of the Office 2016 apps. Now, when you first install and open up either Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you'll notice a substantially different interface compared to Office 2011. Everything looks a lot cleaner and easier to access. You can also make it more modern by choosing the colorful theme rather than the classic one. This doesn't really make any big changes apart from adding some color depending on which app is open, and you can always change it back in the preferences. Apart from the theme, the design seems to have fewer buttons in the toolbar, which is really a good thing. What it means is that Microsoft has chosen to present the most used features so that they're right there in front of you, and take the not so used features and hide them. Users can make the already clean interface look even better by clicking on the open toolbar tab, which will hide the main toolbar away. This is perfect for those who simply want to type without distractions and who can use shortcuts for making text bold or italic. One nice touch to Word is the new style pane, which replaces the floating panel found in previous versions of Word. The Excel equivalent is the formula building pane, and PowerPoint has an animation pane. Now, it's important to note that if you did like the floating design in previous versions of Office, you can drag out the pane to be its own window. Speaking of animations, each of the apps feature more animations for things like showing and hiding toolbars and changing cells in Excel. Now this isn't integral to the functionality of the apps, but it's a nice touch and makes the design look a lot cleaner and better. In general, all three of the apps offer little to no learning curve when it comes to user interface, with only the real power users having to get used to a slightly tweaked interface. The interface is a little different, however the changes are a good thing and they really bring Office into 2015. Now, I would be hard pressed to say that Office for Mac 2016 is a lot faster than Office 2011 or that it offers better performance. Despite this, every document I have opened up so far has opened perfectly without any issues. It might open slightly faster, but this is barely discernible. Since 2011, however, Microsoft has come up with a number of new products, including more cloud offerings and collaboration options. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint offer much better integration with Microsoft's OneDrive, which is its cloud storage option, allowing users to open and save apps straight from their OneDrive accounts. It's important to note that it might take a few seconds for some to get used to OneDrive integration with Office. When a user is opening or saving a file to or from OneDrive, the interface looks like a Windows interface and falls in line with the rest of the Office interface. When the user decides to switch to saving or opening a file from the Mac, however, the interface switches to an Apple Finder-like interface. The two different interfaces take a little getting used to, but it's really not a big issue and is pretty easy to navigate. Now, collaboration has also been a big focus of Office 2016, and it allows users to work on the same document at the same time. Unfortunately, the feature is a little awkward and underdeveloped, especially when you compare it to something like Google Docs. This is especially true considering the fact that when you're collaborating with someone else, changes won't be seen until you save the document, while Google Docs allows for actual real-time collaboration. For those who frequently send and receive documents with coworkers, it doesn't seem as though there are any issues when it comes to backwards compatibility. Now, Excel also features a few important changes, now recognizing many Windows shortcuts. Of course, considering that we're looking at Office for Mac, most users will probably be more used to their Mac shortcuts, and thankfully the software still recognizes those. When it comes to PowerPoint, the same collaboration features have been added as Word. Microsoft has also added a new presenter view, which enables the presenter to see their notes while the audience sees the current slide. Now, of course, this has been a feature in Google Slides for some time now, so it's nice to see Microsoft taking note of this feature. The animations panel has also been altered to now allow users to preview animations in their presentations and edit them to fit what they want. 
When we get right down to it, there's really no argument for Office for Mac 2011 being better than Office for Mac 2016. However, there is some question as to whether or not upgrading is worth subscribing to Office 365 or worth the outright price. For those that really only need to type a few documents every now and then and who don't really need anything beyond that, you're probably going to be fine with Office for Mac 2011. If you really like the new interface and could use the added features, then Office for Mac 2016 will be great for you. As far as price goes, Office 365 for Home will cost $9.99 per month and allows users to use the software on up to 5 computers, 5 tablets and 5 phones. If you don't need to use the software on that many devices, however, you can subscribe to Office 365 Personal, which costs $6.99 and allows for use of the software on one computer, one tablet and one phone. Of course, if you don't want to pay the subscription fee, you can buy Office 2016 Home or Student for $149.99. Another reason to subscribe to Office 365, however, is the fact that users will receive upgrades as part of their subscription at no extra cost. Microsoft should be releasing updates as often as it does on Windows now, meaning that Mac users won't have to lag behind as much as they have in the past. In general, Office for Mac 2016 is a substantially better Office suite that brings the software into modern times. While it's been five years since the last release of Office for Mac, it was well worth the wait.